Okay, so I'm going to talk about 3D imaging at the British Library. Um, we started experimenting with um, 3D modeling in 2015 uh, with two different types of collections. One is Hebrew manuscripts, the other one is Chinese oracle bones. And the method that we use here at the library is uh, photogrammetry, which is basically the creation of a 3D structure from um, a series of overlapping two-dimensional images. Um, the photography is done in-house by our imaging studio, and I did a modeling using a software called Alistoff PhotoScan. A few months ago, we purchased a rig for, th for photogrammetry, and it includes a set of cameras and a turntable, and this enables us to do 3D modeling more quickly and more efficiently, and we still do the imaging in-house, and we have a company called Cyril, who is responsible for the hardware and the software, and they, they do the actual modeling. Um, our models are available on a, flat, on a platform called Sketchfab, which is the biggest platform online for uh, sharing 3D models. And they can be explored and downloaded from, uh, from this online platform. And we have uh, collection items such as uh, Jane Austen's writing desk, manuscripts, um, figurines, oracle bones, ostracon, um, and so forth, or name boxes, and so forth. Uh, benefits are great. Uh, 3D models enhance the experience of viewing an object. They can be used in a physical or a virtual exhibition online. They can be embedded into online content, articles, blogs, etc. They can be used in gaming and creative industries and they're really great for social media engagement. We love them. And in a way, they're another way to document and digitally preserve um, collection items. We did some 3D printing as well, and these were used in exhibition tours as handling objects for um, visually impaired. And we also used them for conservation purposes. They helped us planning for rehousing the objects, and we didn't have to deal with handling the actual objects, which are, which are fragile. So to sum up, uh, it's a new way of creating and using digital collections, and it's awesome. <laughs> Um, not yet, but um, I think we'll be experimenting something uh, maybe for the lab symposium. So, uh, spoiler, you yeah, should just. Yeah, we don't. Thanks too much. About that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not yet, but uh, we're looking into virtual reality um, in, um, in, in some aspects and we might, we might do something combining these two. Um, which is awesome. <laughs> Roughly, how much does a photogrammetry rig cost? Oh, I think it's like um, it's like asking me how much is the car. Yeah. <laughs> In a way. Um, I think it really depends on the specs, and it depends on how many um, cameras you want um, on it, and um, it, it really varies. Uh, we paid uh, just under twenty thousand for for this. What uh, what moved this to that? What was what was the uh, what was your um, idea behind it? What, was it an external request to for you to provide 3D models? Or? So um, initially, no, it wasn't. Uh, it was um, me being an archaeologist and joining the library and just seeing everything as an object, and I was like, "This is actually really great. We should just experiment. Let's just do it." And, and we did a few, and then and then it just you know it kept rolling from there. So people saw the benefits of it and, and got ideas of how we could use it, ideas which I didn't even have um, back then. And, um, and now there are more you know, additional curators within the library that think, OK, I want to do this for, for reason X or for reason Y. I want to do this for an exhibition, or I want to do this to, um, to be able to, to raise awareness of my collection online. So it really started with just, just a fun uh, experience experiment and um, we're going to now um, provide this not just as an internal service but also as an external so people will be able to, to come to us and um, pay for it as, as a professional service. Do you know which is uh, the biggest user group? I mean now the of your content, the 3D uh, creations, is it the creatives, is it the educators, are makers, is it a subgroup of the creatives? So you mean the 
uh, people who, who consume the yes. models, we, we use it. So it's quite, it's quite hard to tell. Uh, we know, like with a lot of things, you can see the impressions, you can see the engagement, but it's hard to, to know how, how you divide uh, that group of, of people engaging. Um, so it can be, it, it can be anyone. And uh, just every now and then I can see a use of a model, like for example, we saw someone um, that used it for his creative artwork, uh, a French artist that used it, and um, they just told me, look, I used it. Um, but some of them can be downloaded, so I don't know who, down who downloads them, but I can see that people are downloading them, so um, it's quite hard to tell. I didn't do like an exercise just asking, how did you use uh, 3D models? I think it's also quite early days to, um, to know that, and we need to kind of get traction on that and, and uh, just do it at, at scale now that we have this group, and then we get a better idea of how this is going to be used. But it's going to be interesting. I was wondering, you said some of them can be downloaded. How, how do you make them available? Is that on? Uh, CC BY. OK. And yeah. on the normal website for the library, or is that like a uh, No. So, um, so, so through Sketchfab at the moment. And at a later point, hopefully, they will be available through the digital library system. But no. <laughs> Uh, just a quick question. In the light of what you did in this phase, uh, are you willing to uh, do it with other manuscripts in different languages? With, yeah. yeah. We, yeah anything. Anything is anything. 3D, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you mentioned gaming as a possible application of 3D models. Um, I think from our collection. Have you actually had any requests from gaming companies? Um, not yet. Do you know anyone? Anyone using our models for that's games? Just our models. Not our I'm models, but our really, models. Yeah. That's the thing that I'm interested in yeah. looking at. So not that I mm -hmm. that we know. Well, especially with VR being implemented. There's, there's, yeah. an AR, there's an AR company that's approached us about not so much a game, but like an interactive app. So whether anything will happen. Again, it's a kind of people are interested, but it's nothing's happened yet. Yeah. So early days. Early days. Yeah. We've had our 2D items used in video games, um, so, so it wouldn't be a leap to, in fact, it would be even better having lots of the 3D objects used in our so yeah. Okay, great, thanks, Daddy.